Mmm, energy drink. You know, these things have potential and kinetic energy, too. Come on back. If you want to see how to make one of these, this is my energy can, or it's also known as a rollback can. Take a look at the following steps. So, this is how you make your rollback or energy can. Um, you're going to need the following ingredients to make it. Um, you need an empty aluminum can. Almost any empty aluminum can will do, but using an energy drink is a better joke for physics. So, empty aluminum can, a hammer, a big nail, a rubber band to help make your can go, nuts and bolts, Pliers, needle nose plier would probably be the best way to go. Some paper clips, a large paper clip and a small paper clip. And some tape. Probably clear tape would work better just because it'll show up better for you. So, this is how you make it. Take your aluminum can, put it upside down, take your nail, find the center of your can and with a nice whack, but be careful, whack a hole in the center of the bottom of your can. Make sure it gets nice and around, get your hole in there. And if you do have a needle nose plier, you can actually shove that in there to kind of round it out, make it slightly larger. So your can's ready to go. Next thing you're going to do is take your large paper clip and you're going to use this to hook your rubber band that's going to go through your can. So what you're going to do with a large paper clip is open it up all the way straight, all the way out. Then with the needle nose plier, you're going to take the very, very end of it and you're going to bend it over to make a hook. And you want to make your hook pretty small because this hook is going to end up going through the hole you just made in your can. Okay, and actually I'm going to put it in right now. So you're going to run your paper clip through the hole, the hook side first, and then through the front of your can. Okay? I will tell you that this type of can is a little bit longer, so the hook might only reach out too close to the mouth. This kind of can is a little bit easier because the hook will go all the way through. Next, you're going to take your nuts and bolts, and this is going to be the weight to help torque up your um, rubber band inside the can. So what I'm going to do is put on a couple of nuts. In this case, you can use almost any size nut and bolt, but the smaller, the better to um, add weight inside of there. So right now I have one nut on there, two nuts on there. And the third nut I'm going to use to actually secure the rubber band onto the nuts and bolts. So now that you have that, you're going to take your rubber band weighting system and you're going to put one part of it about halfway up on one side of a rubber band, you'll notice how my weights are all the way down here. I'm just going to grab one side about halfway. And I'm going to put that around the tab on the end of my can. And the other side, the exact opposite, is the one that's going to go into the can. So I'm going to grab this side. And I'm going to hook that side. Once you hook it, you pull the rubber band through, getting the weights right inside. Try to get them in the middle of the can if you can. And once you have the rubber band on the other side, unhook your hook. Put your small paper clip right in the middle so it won't go back through. And then put a piece of tape right on top of it so it won't go anywhere.
if your weight is touching on the bottom, what you might want to do is actually pull on your rubber band and, and make it go around your tab a little bit in order to give it a little more tension. But this one is actually in pretty good shape right now. So let's see if our energy drink really can give us kinetic and potential energy. So to show you how your energy can or rollback can works, I made a cutaway. In this one, I actually cut the aluminum um, siding off of this can. You shouldn't do this because this is actually very sharp, but inside of your energy can, you could see the weights about in the middle or so. It's dangling down. There is your rubber band over there. And as your can rolls, you could see that the rubber band is twisting and storing up more and more energy. At a certain point, it'll slow down and then it'll, re it'll release the energy by going backwards. And that's how the can energy can works. So I'm putting kinetic energy in, builds up potential energy, makes kinetic energy come back out. Kinetic energy, potential energy stored, kinetic energy is released. Have fun with an energy can. First time I've ever had an energy drink.